Welcome to Shortview Trading. This is your morning market hit for Tuesday, 30th of March. What matters today for traders? Well, markets behaved pretty strangely yesterday, particularly if one looks at various sectors and component parts of the equity market. Bond yields, for example, were higher on the day and now testing their highs from the 19th of March. Despite that, though, the classic reflation parts of the market, like the Russell 2000, underperformed, for example, relative to tech and growth parts of the market, like the Nasdaq 100. Equally, financials closed lower. The Nasdaq Banks Index was down 3.1%, giving back most of its gains from late last week. Rather bizarre, of course, given that yields were higher. And unusually, the energy sector was lower on the day, down 1.3%, despite a rally in oil, with Brent up 1.2% and just edging above the top of its recent trading range from this past week. So there's some strange behavior in markets. There's some dislocation at a sector level. Perhaps it relates to the margin call, the far sale of Archego's assets. But at a headline equity index level, markets have held up reasonably well, particularly given that there's been some further strength in the US dollar with the DXY making a new local high yesterday, which in recent months has been consistent with equity market weakness. That hasn't happened this time. And elsewhere, the credit market is behaving well with US high yield corporate bond spreads tightening further yesterday they're now at their tightest level since 2014. So where does that leave us? How are we trading this market? We address all of that in our daily trading publication available on the website. We offer a free trial for seven trading days. And in that publication, we make a one to two week explicit trading recommendation on US equity futures, long or short. And really the view is driven by the signals that we get from our short term proprietary trading models like this one you see on your screen now, which is one of our risk appetite models. It picks up the ebb and flow of fear and greed in markets and shows that currently there's plenty of fearful positioning in portfolios. And it's therefore generating a contrarian buy signal for equity. For a full update of our models and for how we're trading this market, have a look at our daily trading publication. What are we watching today? Well, in terms of data out of Europe, we get the first March estimate for German inflation, the CPI number. Out of the US, there's a bit of a housing theme. House prices reported both by FHFA and Case Schiller. We also get consumer confidence from the conference board. And there's a bit of Fed speak, both Qualls and Williams speaking today. That was your morning market hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading. Join us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and or Facebook. Thanks for listening.